All right, a black-owned company is making it easier for you to crowdfund and support black-led organizations. The Give Black app is designed to help organizations find donors through a simple three-step process. David Hughes is the founder and CEO of the Give Black app. Joins us right now from my hometown in H-Town. Uh, you see I'm repping the Astros, uh, so that's how we do it. Uh, those folks from Oklahoma, they typically cheer for the Texas Rangers. They suck, but it's all good. Uh, and uh, Robert, are your Braves still? Your, your Braves are going to the uh, AL yeah, we, Championship Series. Yeah, we're in the, the NLCS. Yeah, we ain't got steel signs either. Okay, gotcha. But y'all still suck. Uh, but it's all good. All right, let's talk about it, uh, uh, David. Uh, explain the app. Well, first, I want to say thank you for having me on here in 06 to the good brass. Oh, I'm sorry. But, uh, oh, we got a fellow alpha. I'm sorry, DeMario. Uh, as usual, uh, you don't have that kind of greatness uh, in your fraternity. We rarely re feature any Omegas who have their own apps because that requires you keep it by because, me, man. because that because that requires knowledge. All right, David, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, what we wanted to do with Give Black was to create a one stop shop, one to make people aware of services of organizations that are provided in our community that need additional support. And then two, we want to be able to support said organizations that need our support. So the research shows that majority of black nonprofits and organizations spend the majority of their money just keeping the lights on, uh, having employees and looking for government grants. So they do need additional support. So essentially we, what we created was a GoFundMe for organizations, not necessarily people. So as long as your organization is doing work in a black community, is black led, we want people to be able to find out about your services and to fund said services. All right. And so um, how does it work? You see a three step process. What does that mean? So it's free to download uh, on Apple or uh, Google Play. And all you have to do is uh, download it, sign up for your organization. Uh, once we vet your organization, you'll be approved and then you'll be able to re start receiving funds within 48 hours of approval. Uh, gotcha. So again, so let's say that Marcus Dupree Foundation got to give some money back. And so y'all able to help them raise some funds to pay Mississippi back. Is that how it works? Yes, but that's why we have a 48 hour process so we can vet our organizations. So one thing about this is we focus on organizations and not individuals because we believe in power in the community. You need to focus more so on organizations and there's other uh, technologies that focus on individuals, but we're more so organization based. So churches, nonprofits, your show, anything that wants to produce um, things that could be beneficial to the black community. We want on the app and we want people to have a one-stop shop to promote and give black. And not only, you know, just for a day of giving, but year round. All right, then. Uh, questions, uh, Monique? Why do I always have to go first? Fine, Robert. <laughs> oh, when, it, when you say you're working with organizations, who are some of the organizations you're working for with thus far? And, and if they do want to get involved, how do they contact you and how, uh, how can they find out more information? So if they want to contact us, they can um, contact us at any of our social media, which is Give Black App. You can go to our website, which is GiveBlackApp.com. Uh, currently, we have a former NBA player, George Lynch. His HBCU Heroes organization is on the app. We have... Um, uh, a myriad of other ones, but our, I guess I would say our st shining star is North Park Community uh, Development, which is a organization upstate New York, which helps combat gentrification. Uh, so download the app, fill it out. You'll get an email from myself or my assistant, and that's the easiest way to get in contact with us. Okay, so you say it's the app, but like I'm on the I'm on the Apple Store right now on my computer. Is it? But it's but I don't see it. So what what platforms is it available on? Oh, it's on, uh, it's on Apple and what'd you type in? Did you type in Give Black app? I typed in Give Black. Nothing came up. Oh, do app. So Give Black app. Okay, let's see. If yeah, you right. always do. Y'all always have to complete the whole process. While this brother's trying to find it, I want to hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. I, 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 you ain't the host. Breathe. So I just typed in Give Black app. And it doesn't come up, so I'm on I'm on the Apple I'm on the Apple Store. So you might just want to just check that. See, so we do this. What well, was checking? So, uh, so I typed in okay. Give Black App. Go ahead. Uh, I'm not sure what's the, what's going on. Okay, and then, 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 the, then the website is also Give Black App. Okay, let's try this here. Give Black App right. 
All right. Yes. So I should be it's, able. Is, is there? Is there? Is there? A, is there give, isn't it? Give Black crowdfunding for us by us. Isn't that what I'm looking at? Give Black. No, I'm yes. Just, that's right. So um, I'm, st I'm. I'm. Again. So I'm, I'm looking for it on the computer. I and I'll. Uh, did you find it on your phone? That's what I'm saying. Yes. Okay. On your phone. I, I'm on the computer, I, Monique. The app I can't store. help it if your computer is slow, Roland. You give me all these tech lessons. Get it together. You done? Yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Monique, Monique you, you done? You ready, for, you ready for hashtag team? Whip that ass to show up? Just act like, act like so, it never happened. So, so Monique, let me explain like, something to you since you want to be a smart ass on the show. The reality is you have to have, there are the different apps for computers than also for your mobile device. So there are some apps that you can buy that are computer based that you can't buy with the phone. So all I'm doing is, is checking. So I am able to, um, I'm, I'm not able to pull up on the computer, but I can pull up on the phone. But since you want to be a smart ass about it, you just, you just go ahead and get checked. All right, go ahead, Demario. Go and ask your question to David. <laughs> Well, I was just going to say, uh, with love for my organization, uh, uh, Justice for Greenwood Foundation, which is working a uh, national organization for truth, justice, and reparations. For the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre. What What is the verification process? We are a 501c3, justiceforgreenwood.org. Anybody want to connect with us and help us get reparations for our three known living survivors? How What's the verification process for an organization to become you know, on your platform as someone that you verify? They were a good steward to the funds that we will be able to raise. Yes, that's a great question. So we look for a historic or current mission to serve underserved communities or a black organization. So as long as that's your mission, we see there's nothing fishy going on, uh, you will be approved. All right, good deal. So we just reached out to you through the scottgiveblackapp.com, and um, we'll connect with you guys. That sounds fantastic. We would love to do that, particularly with Giving Tuesday coming up. That's something that our organization is gearing up for with the Justice for Greenwood Foundation. So definitely look forward to connecting with you on that. Absolutely. Sounds good. And, you know, who says alphas and cues can't work together? Oh, hell no. <laughs> well, first of all, so, somebody got to employ them. Somebody got somebody to gotta employ them. So I get it. All right. So so hold on. Hold on. Before you do that. So, David, here's the issue. Go to my computer. So I went so I went to your I went to your uh, website. Uh, and I clicked, I clicked uh, right here. Uh, you see how it works. Um, uh, let's see uh, how it works. Then when I click download from the app store, then it takes me to the app store preview. When I click view in the Mac app store, um, what happens is it comes up and it actually says it's not compatible with this device. So it says that the, the, the app that's on your website only works for the iPhone. So I'm just, I'm only saying that because if somebody out there tries to use it from their computer. So I've already pulled, I've definitely pulled up on the iPhone, but the, the, ver the version for the computer is not working in the app store. So I just wanna let you know that. Okay, thank you for notifying us. All right. I not, appreciate it. Not a problem, right not a problem. So that's, we always go through that thing. All right, so uh, who, who has some money? You have some extra you wanna add? It's my, yes, it's my turn. Um, no, I you actually you missed I, your turn trying to be a little smart ass earlier, trying to tell me I can't work a computer, but I just showed you how that went down. But go ahead, ask your little question. Go on, go on. It's just so much hostility. Um, <laughs> I, I'm wondering because I believe the name of the organization we um, was covered by Roland once before was H. HBCU change, maybe, or something like that, whether you're aware of each other with similar functions, but could perhaps assist each other along the way because their giving is specifically dedicated um, to HBCUs and yours is dedicated more to Black organizations generally. But, you know, what I, what I appreciate is that we're all doing more things, but what I love more than that is when we collaborate. So I don't know if you had heard of them or not, but it's HBCU Change. No, I have is that not. But... Is that the organization? Wasn't it HBCU Change? You did that segment uh, on them? I don't know. That's so long ago. I'll look it up. Well, Monique, we'll look into it, and hopefully we could do something to cross-collaborate. And if you, if you know them, 
put me in contact with them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's HBCU change. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, again, uh, David and folks out there, I mean, look, look, we do a lot of segments. I don't remember all of them, okay? Uh, so uh, good luck with the app. It is the Give Black app. Folks, you can pull up on your iPhone. David, they're going to work on it, pull up on the computer. Uh, but, folks, uh, check it out. And uh, please uh, support uh, the folks who are doing some great work. David, thanks a bunch. Always glad to see Alphas are handling their business. Uh, and, yes, uh, we do have uh, mentoring classes for Omegas, Kappas, Iolas, and Sigmas. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate it, even those from Oklahoma. All right, y'all. Real quick, I wrote my uncle's video in just one moment. Once upon a time, there lived a princess with really long hair who was waiting for a prince to come save her. But really, who has time for that? Let's go. Fill them myself. She ordered herself a ladder with Prime one day delivery, and she was out of there. Now, her hairdressing empire is killing it. And the prince, well, who cares? Prime changes everything. Time to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches! Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks phenomenal, so I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I gotta defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with rolling all the way. Honored to be on a show that you own, a black man owns the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. Like, wow, rolling was amazing on that. Stay black, I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig?